So now we're going to make something called motto, which is really a Ligurian dish, an antipasto that you serve on crostini. So I'm going to put the fava beans in a food processor because what we're going to do here is make a paste out of this. And I'm going to add two whole cloves of garlic, so this is going to be pretty, pretty spicy. And now what we want to do is get this into a paste. Now, Okay, so we have something that's looking really pretty and green. And now what I need to do is add some olive oil to this. So through the feed tube, this is better than cheese and crackers any day, let me tell you. So then scoop it out into a bowl. Isn't it a beautiful green? And it reminds me of spring, just the color of it alone. And then I add some cheese. And here we have a little bit of pecorino cheese, which is, as you know, sheep's milk cheese. And you just want to mix that in. This is why this is called crostini, which means little toasts in Italian. And all you do is take some of this and spread it right over the top of toasted bread. And then at the end, you just give a little drizzle of olive oil over the top. I know it looks messy. You just get a napkin because then you could just lick the olive oil off your fingers. But isn't that nice? And now I just want to dress that up a little bit with some cherry tomatoes over the top. This is a great way to start off, let's say, an antipasto party where you're going to be having just other antipasto items. But most people aren't going to be familiar with this. But you are now because I've told you all about fava beans and the fact that you can get these even frozen in some Italian stores, and so there's no excuse.